In September 2010, a body parts were found inside a tiger shark in Bahamas Beach. Deep sea fishermen caught the shark. They said a left leg came out of its mouth as it was hauled onto their boat. When police sliced the belly open, they found a right leg, two arms, and a torso. Fingerprints analysis determined that the human remains belonged to Judson Newton, who was last seen swimming for shore after his boat's engine stalled a month ago. Newton was a 43-year-old sailor, was on a boating trip with friends off Jaws Beach when their boat's engine stalled. Three people remained on board while Newton and his friend swam to shore. Neither was seen again, and they were presumed drowned. One of Newton's friends said he had doubted the drowning theory. To me, he was always a strong swimmer. I don't know what happened. In June 2018, a body of a woman named Wa Tibia, 54, was found inside the reticulated python near her village on the island of Muna, the Jakarta Post reports. She went missing on evening after leaving her house to check on a nearby vegetable field. After not returning home the following morning, her family and over a hundred people from the village launched a search party. A trail of her belongings led the villagers to a bloated python, which they promptly killed and carried back to the village. Assuming the worst, they decided to slice open the python's belly, and they found Tibia's body, still intact, with all her clothes. She was swallowed first from her head. In January 2019, Indonesian scientist is believed to have been eaten alive by a crocodile after it attacked her while she was feeding it at the lab where she worked. The incident is believed to have occurred when DC-2044 was throwing meat into the pool during feeding time, and the 17-foot long crocodile stood on its hind legs and jumped up an 8-foot high wall and dragged her into the enclosure. The crocodile called Mary was found with Tuo's remains still in its jaws at the research facility in North Sulawesi, Indonesia. Rescue workers recovered Tuo's body from the crocodile after sustained efforts. Friends describe Ms. Tuo, the lead scientist at the laboratory, as a quiet person who loved animals. Authorities were trying to trace the owner of the crocodile after the incident, whether he is legally permitted to own wild animals in his company. If there is no permit, he will be detained. Local news reports in Zimbabwe reported a crocodile shot dead after it had devoured an eight-year-old schoolboy. According to local news sites, News24 and Daily Mail UK, 
The crocodile was captured and killed to retrieve the remains of the victim, who was then crossing the Hanyani River from school on Monday when the incident took place. And when they cut open the huge beast's stomach, their worst fears were confirmed. The remains of the boy, whose name has not been revealed, were removed from the crocodile and buried two days later. The grisly footage of which is too graphic to show sees men slitting open the crocodile, pulling human body parts from its belly, and placing them on a gray blanket next to the dead animal. Villagers and a policeman can be seen silently watching the grim operation in the background. At first glance, you'll think that the man is holding a skeleton gathered from the cementer. Shockingly, it's not. It's a boy eaten by a piranha to the last flesh that he got. Incredibly, including all internal organs, disappear from the boy's body. Authorities claim that the 11-year-old boy was on a holiday trip with his grandmother and other children when he suddenly fell into the water. However, some citizens claim that the boy had already been lifeless due to drowning before he was eaten by the piranhas. The family of the young boy cried their hearts out after seeing what happened to their son, 